Hi, everybody. I uh, just wanted to pop on and say I miss you guys and I can't wait to see you guys again. I actually bought this book, The Box Turtle, before I knew we weren't going to have class anymore. And I bought it and I wanted to read it to you guys. So I thought I'd get on and um, just do a video and do a little read aloud right here. So we got to make the most of what we have, right? So here we go. The Box Turtle Crack. When the little box turtle hatched, his parents noticed something missing. Oh me, oh my, but they weren't dismayed. They gave him a name and a shell, both of, both of which fit just right. Now remember, Terrence, you are so much more than just a shell. Terrence kept, Terrence's shell kept him dry on the soggiest days, safe from the snoopiest strangers and on the scariest nights. So there's Terrence. He doesn't have a shell, but his parents got him one instead, and it's a great shell. It was big enough to share. Terrence loved his shell. Until one day, your shell is weird. So Terrence loved his shell until someone made fun of it. Mm, poor Terrence. Suddenly, Terrence's shell seemed too boring, too bizarre, and too big for the little box turtle to bear. So, he abandoned it to search for something better. Make a prediction. Do you think Terrence is going to find something better? What do you think? Terrence searched high and low until, woo-wee, his new shell looked sleek. Look at him. He's so happy. Eek! But it showed too much cheek. The search continued. He looked classy. He looked sassy. He looked just like... Grandma Mildred! He looked for another shell. Oh yeah, he found it. A perfect polka dotty package. Oops. Do you guys think that shell is going to work? I don't know. What do you think that shell is going to do on this side? Do you think it's going to it's going to work out for him? I don't know. We'll find out. Pop. That was positively petrifying. I didn't know if that was going to work out for poor Terrence. Terrence, Terrence tried shell after shell after shell after shell, but nothing fit. Look at all those shells he tried. He tried a boom box, a lunch box, a planner box, a treasure chest. None of them worked. The whole situation stunk a lot. That's it. I give up. Here you go. Look, his little crab friend gave him his shell. So nice. Oh, wow. In that moment, the hermit crab showed what it meant to be a friend. The little crustacean was so much more than just a shell, and maybe Terrence was too. Terrence knew what he needed. What did Terrence need? Make a prediction. What do you think? What is he gonna go get? But when he found his old shell, oh no, it had changed. Hmm. How is his sh how is his shell different? How is it how has it changed? What's different about it? I wonder. It's okay. We can fix it. Hmm. Yeah. It doesn't look look at it. It doesn't look as new and clean anymore. It looks kind of dirty. Terrence patched on soggy days. He toiled on chilly nights. So they're working on making his shell better. The task grew big enough to share. Finally, the shell was finished. It wasn't sleek or sassy. It was far from perfect and definitely weird. But Terrence wasn't dismayed because this little box turtle.
was so much more than just his show. The end. Now, if you could get on Google Classroom and tell me what you think of the story, just uh, give me, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down. What do you think about the story? And what would you do to be a good friend for someone who didn't feel like they were comfortable in their own skin? If they weren't comfortable being themselves, what would you do? Would you say nice things to them? Would you be supportive? Would you be nice? Or would you be mean and say that their stuff that they like is weird? Um, I cannot wait to see you guys and I hope you enjoyed the book and if you guys liked it, maybe I could do another one again sometime. All right. Bye. I'll see you guys later.